Hi and welcome guys, I am Gordon Crow and this is a new tutorial series on XNA. So what you want to do is go and download XNA and install it, XNA 4.0. Alright, then you can go and select .NET Framework 4.0 as well. And we're going to create Windows, so I'll click on Windows game and then name your project. Call mine XNA Tutorial 1. Click on OK and that will go and start your project up so um, yeah as you can see it's loaded up a few things already for you um, DirectX you would create this yourself or you still have to go and add all these things um, XNA does all that for you so that is pretty cool um, if it's your first time and you've never used XNA you go and read the code commented code uh, all these things pretty helpful um, so you can read that if you want um, alright so I'll show you a few things uh, how to set the title of the window so window.title straightforward you can set the title over here you can set the size um, that will be preferred back back buffer width and height um, let's make it 800 uh, 800 600 Oops. so that will go and set the size of the window if you run this it will already work Alright, 800 times 600 in our title game window. Alright, so you've probably noticed this is the draw method. So put all your drawing code over here. These are your update method. Uh, update, well, you can read all the logical code, um, such as updating input, all those, up, those type of things. This will unload uh, content and this will load up content. Alright, so what we're going to do today is we're going to draw an image. So, uh, all we're going to do is load up an image. And to do that, you got to create a texture. Since this is for 2D, we're going to use texture 2D. Just going to call it texture. And then we can go and load that up. Texture equals content content dot load and then the file type is texture to 2d and over here you'll add in the the name of the well whatever the, the file's name is um, mine is called image I'm just going to call mine image and go and rename that file as well and that'll load up from the content which is this over here you can see contents right next to it and over here our content root directory is set to content All right. so you'll have to go and add a file in here All Right. You can I'm going to add a new bitmap and call that image you can go and add any image from outside as well but I haven't I don't nev never got any files ready for this tutorial, so I'm just going to use this bitmap, alright? Um, set the color to black, whatever. Save that. So we loaded up the image, and over here we can draw it, but we're going to need to use that sprite patch, which was already created for us but then you have to uh, initialize it by saying sprite bash out begin well not a kind of initialize it um, and then end so you'll do all the drawing inside of begin sprite batch out begin and sprite batch dot end so now call sprite batch dot draw put in your texture we called ours texture or whatever you called yours 
add that new rectangle x and y is zero call the graphics device which is being drawn to graphics device and we just want to get the width and height so we're going to add that in here the viewport or height all right and then our color color dot white and that is all that should now be drawn and work you can see there that is actually our image I didn't uh, I don't actually well my image is just black but like that so whatever image you put in there should be drawn across the screen because that is the width and height we wanted right um, for example if I change the image size to be drawn to it's now only a hundred and well full height uh, the the coral cornflower blue color in the background that is because it's been cleared right the screen is being cleared to that color so yeah this is the first tutorial thanks for watching I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one